So guys, I want to make ew. Oh. So first thing first, I do not. My friend gave me this helmet for free. I don't really like it because it's super bulky. It may not look that bulky in real life, but it's tough. I mean in video, but it's really bulky. I, so I just told him I just want the bottom half and he wanted the top for some odd reason So I'm just gonna cut off the bottom only and I realized something this kind of reminds me of Mortal Kombat a bit I mean through the rusty you know, inside like that's kind of nasty but still I'm like so I just plan so it's really easy all you do all you guys gotta do is cut off this much of it at least Cut off this much on both sides right, so I'm I so I'm uh, I got a sharpie and like cut and I like mind it where I want it to be. And I should uh, just cut it. I'm using a hacksaw. You can use what I did was that uh, um this um had this rubber grip to it. So I just lift it off and then like I cut it off and now I have a cramp in my So um I noticed two things as I was cutting it off. One, it's super easy because apparently the plastic is so then, which is kind of stupid because if you're on a mo motorcycle accident, or dirt bike accident, <laughs> this thing is going to break. Now I know what my friend meant when he said this, this is like you have to replace once a month because it breaks easily. So anyway, um, and two, when I was cutting it, it smelled like spray paint and uh, you shouldn't be breathing the spray paint because it's toxic, toxic. So a uh, real dust mask as you're cutting this. Or at least cut it first, and if you notice something smelly, then you probably you should wear a dust mask or something. And when we should wear a dust mask in the first place, only because it's dust. So now we have this. You get a file, just file it down. Alright, so I'm too poor to afford maintenance and I don't have gloves. So I'm gonna use socks. I did it before and I'm gonna do it again. So just use so if you have gloves, good for you. I don't, so I'm gonna use these, and then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put this over the oven, like around, like right here, and then I'm gonna slowly mold it, right, right here too. I'm gonna mold it into the into the shape I want it. Now I'll show what it looks like at the end. This is what it looks like from the inside. I don't know why I want to paint this yet, but I, but um, uh, I, this what the white looks like. Ew. I'm gonna get. I have black paint somewhere. I'm gonna get black paint, coat it, and so then it's the coating, so it doesn't you know wear off so fast. And then I have a hot glue gun. You're gonna need hot glue gun. And it, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm gonna paint that out. With soap and stuff. I'm gonna uh, paint it, and once everything's dried and clean, um, I'm, I'm gonna put it back on this, and I'm gonna have to figure out the paint for this one. I don't know yet, but I'm, I'm thinking about a um, a black and like red stripe kind. I don't know yet. All right. So what I did for the pattern, I put soap over it, and I uh, let me focus. Quick. Uh, what I did, I I washed this with soap and water. It's still dirty. I guess it's stained there. But um, it then uh after I cleaned it off, I got tape right here, put over the heater, and just turned it on. And I left it there for like five, like like about ten five minutes, which you guys should not do. You guys should not put anything this close and leave it alone for like ten minutes. So guys, the reason why I use paint instead of spray paint. Because I don't have paint, spray paint, and I don't have money to afford it, so I put paint. If all you guys, I use spray paint. I highly recommend spray paint because you know 
it's smarter to use spray paint. It's a lot easier too than this. Now I covered up the holes, the breathing holes. Now two things are gonna happen. Either it's gonna stay like this, or two, it's slowly gonna like pop holes like that little thing. Hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in. That little hole. That little hole right there. You guys see it? Oh damn. The quality is really good and zoomed in surprisingly. Anyway, you guys see that hole right there? That swastika looking hole? Yeah, that it might end up like that. So yeah. Is this Surprisingly, actually, if you blow into it, the paint will just fly out. Let me try. Yeah. Now I have holes, in, now it has holes inside. Okay, I guess you can do that too, I guess. Yeah, now, now it's a normal mesh. It's kind of wet, so I'm going to let it dry up more, and after I let it dry up more, I get hot glue gun and glue them all back together. Now, as we're waiting for that to dry, um, I'm gonna get tape and I'm gonna put lines over the mask. All right, so I just got duct tape and I just put just put like a basic line. I was gonna put like like stripes over it, but then no, uh, it looks better like this. So I'm gonna leave it like this because it looks like a warm paint. It's literally just. Electrical tape. If you like slow, like I just took out, I slowly put it on. I just slowly put it on so I wouldn't make a lot of air bubbles. There are, there are some. I think I did pretty good. And now let's see if that's done.